Hello and welcome back to the brewery. Today we're re-brewing a barley wine I brewed several years ago that won a couple of competitions and has appeared at some beer festivals over the years since. This year is the last time it's going to be appearing at Indie Man, I believe, so it's time to make some more. I originally brewed this 14% barley wine back in about 2015 using a reiterated mash in my old brewery in the old house. I entered into a competition where the prize was to have the beer brewed for the Stockport Beer Festival and won its category. The prize was to brew the beer at Runaway Brewery in the green quarter of Manchester. Mark, the brewer at Runaway, and I discussed the recipe over a few weeks and decided to scale it back a little to make it practical both because of the short time until it needed to be ready for the festival but also to match the capacity of the brewery. On the brew day we totally maxed out their mash tonne and the beer ended up at about 9.5%. A few months later, the beer was served at Stockport Beer Festival, called Cooler the Smaller. The remaining beer went into two whiskey barrels. One was a Speyside barrel and one Lafrague. After about a year in the barrels, the beer was released in bottles, now up to about 10.5%, and tasting almost entirely of the whiskey, but still a little bit of beer in there. A few months later, a keg of the beer appeared at Manchester's best beer festival, Indie Man Beer Con. It appeared alongside a load of new beer from the Stone Brewery in Berlin, which was really rather nice. The beer's been on at every indie man since then. It's been doing my brewing ego a lot of good. Anyway, this year's festival had the last keg of the runaway version, so it's now time to rebrew something that close to the original. I slightly adjusted the recipe, replacing the second mash with DME, as I really didn't have the time for a reiterated mash brew day, which is a really long brew day. So I ended up with nine kilos of Marisotta, 200 grams each of normal and dark crystal malts, 50 grams of chocolate malt, and five kilograms of DME. The malt alone pretty much maxed out my mash tonne, even with the water to grain ratio dropped a bit from my normal level. I bitter with Admiral, and added 100 grams of EKG late in the boil, targeting an IBU of about 72. Going into the fermenter, the beer had a gravity of 1.150. Now the yeast I use in this beer is WLP 099, the super high gravity. This is said to be the original yeast from the Thomas Hardy uh, beer, barley wine. So this is why my version of this beer is usually called obscurity. I use a step starter. First a stirred starter of about one and a half liters at 1.040 gravity, followed by a shaken four liter because my demijohn won't fit onto my stir plate. Uh, but that one's I run at 1.080 just to get the yeast a bit more used to the sort of gravities it's going to experience when it hits the real beer. Interestingly, when I took a gravity reading of the beer straight after pitching, uh, the C gravity was a little bit lower than I expected and started to rise over the next day or so being monitored by a tilt hydrometer. What I think was going on was that the starter was floating on the top of the beer before it mixed in properly, so I was getting a gravity reading that was mostly made up of the starter. Anyway, after finishing fermenting and cold crashing, which in jet total took about three weeks, I dropped a few litres of this beer onto some blackberries because some, um, why not, and stuck the rest into a keg. The final gravity was about 1.035, giving an ABV of about 14.5%, taking the starter into account. Obviously, I had to try the gravity sample. It had a fair amount of alcohol present, but lots of dried fruit, some stone fruit, a bit of cake-like, fruit cake-like finish. It's really rather nice. And there's enough bitterness in there so it doesn't end up sweet. Now, it needs to rest for ages to mature. It'll probably be at its best by Christmas. Next Christmas. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm off to BrewCon in London in a few weeks, and hopefully we'll see some of you there. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.